Hey folks, and I know it's crazy, a third video today. Uh, generally, I try to avoid having days where we have three videos go out, um, especially three videos so close together. But, you know, we had our, our podcast episode today, and I had one uh, little update that had to do with Polygon. But now, something came across my desk that I, I don't think I can wait. I, I thought about making it tomorrow's video, but I already have something in the works for tomorrow's video. And this is such big news that I feel like it deserves uh, to be put out there as soon as possible. And it deals with something called the Super Nintendo Entertainment System Mini. Yes, you heard it right, folks. The SNES Mini, or as Nintendo is probably going to call it, the Nintendo Classic Mini Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Uh, that's just to stay consistent with the fact that it was the NES Classic Edition. Um, it could be called the SNES Classic Edition, you know, whatever. It'll, it'll have various different terms. Uh, but this comes from Eurogamer, who uh, written up by Tom Phillips, who have been very accurate on things recently with Nintendo. Uh, they nailed everything about the Nintendo Switch specs last year uh, before we even knew what the Nintendo Switch fully was. Um, and... They say that they have uh, sources close to Nintendo ha that have confirmed to Eurogamer that the N SNES Mini or the SNES Classic Edition or whatever it ends up being called is in development and will launch in time for Christmas this year. Uh, it says development of the device is already underway which is what their sources have indicated and they said that the plans for the SNES Mini are apparently why the NES Classic Edition did not see uh, a reprieve from being discontinued this month, um, despite the fact that the NES Classic Edition has been extremely popular and it continues to sell out. Um, so uh, what makes this obviously interesting is that, dude, this is the SNES Classic Edition. This is the SNES Mini. This is arguably a more exciting prospect than the NES Mini was because while Nintendo with the NES revived the gaming industry and there's some all-time classic games on the NES, it is extremely easy to argue that the Super Nintendo Entertainment System had potentially some of the very best game lineups of all time for any system out there, whether it's a PlayStation, whether it's Nintendo 64, GameCube, Xbox, uh, you know, Sega Genesis. This system arguably had the best all-around lineup both third party and first party and it'll be interesting to see how many games they throw in the snes classic edition now some of the so some of you people this is probably obvious right the nes classic edition was so popular they of course were going to follow it up with the super nintendo entertainment system version and they are probably going to follow that up with the nintendo 64 version and i wouldn't even be surprised to see them go as far as to make a game boy console like thing whether it's portable or not, uh, that has a bunch of the classic Game Boy games on it. And it, what's very interesting is that, or, or at least what makes me a little bit perturbed about this, is if the Super Nintendo Classic Edition is coming out this holiday, I still don't know why they couldn't keep selling the Nintendo Classic Edition alongside the Super you know, the Super Nintendo version, or why they couldn't at least run the, the NES version up until close to the launch of the Super Nintendo Entertainment System version. Now, this hasn't been officially announced by Nintendo. It is just a rumor right now, a report out there from a reputable source. But uh, Nintendo is probably going to announce this either at E3 or shortly after E3. Uh, I can only hope it includes uh, at least 30 games. And if they sell it for 60 bucks again, that's a hell of a deal. Um, that's almost even more of a value buy than the NES Classic Edition was. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this sounds like it's a thing. It's going to happen, and apparently it's happening this year. Um, and so for all the rumors that maybe Nintendo canceled the NES Classic Edition uh, because of the eShop on Nintendo Switch, and they want to focus on Switch, and they want to make sure the Switch production is going well, eh, not so fast. It seems like it got canceled because of the Super Nintendo Entertainment Classic Edition. Um and that's that's a thing folks it, it's probably happening this year uh are you excited about it I, I i'm a little in between like i really really want one but i still really really want an uh, nes classic edition and i'm worried that nintendo uh isn't going to learn from their supply chain issues and while we now can expect all um, special consoles like this to be very limited in the future in terms of how long they're going to sell it for um, I really hope that they come to market with 
two, three, four million of these things day one. Because the demand for if you, if they thought the demand for the NES Classic Edition was super high, just wait till they see what happens with the SNES Classic Edition. It's going to be crazy, especially with people knowing how limited it's probably going to end up being. Man, the Super Nintendo Classic Edition, folks, it's coming! Like, oh, at least if you want to believe rumors. <laughs> oh boy. Again, I'm still really upset the NES Classic Edition is canceled, and I'm not sure if I'm going to get the Super Nintendo Classic Edition. But um, what I do know is if you're planning to get it, you better get ready to pre-order after it's announced because <sighs> Nintendo, man, they keep releasing products people want. Now they just got to fill that demand. This is Nathaniel Ruffle Jance from Nintendo Prime signing out.